Today's video is brought to you in part by YourCDKey.com. Are you looking for a valid Windows 10 key or maybe a key for Office 2019? If your answer is yes, your CD key has you covered. Whether you're doing a major upgrade or just building that next gaming rig, you will need a legitimate key to get up and going. And buying has never been easier. Simply go to the site, create your account, then find the software you are looking for and add it to your cart. Upon checkout, enter the code TOT20 to get an additional 20% off and then place your order. Within minutes, your keys will be in your inbox. After that, enter the key and activate your software. It's that easy. All keys are genuine and guaranteed to work every time, making activation a simple task. Look for the links in the description below and save money now with yourcdkey.com. Hey, what's up out there, tech fans? So right now I'm in the hospital. Once again, my foot got infected and I had to have surgery. I've been in the hospital for close to a week. I don't know when I'm gonna get out of here, when I'm going to be getting out of here. I have a blood infection and you guys know me. If I had it my choice, I'd be doing my unboxings and my reviews here from the hospital. But ever since Jesus passed away last year, I don't have a cameraman anymore to do that stuff. So it's pretty much just, me doing the filming and a friend of mine, Travis in LA doing the editing. And so there's no one here to actually film my videos and help me. And the hospital that I'm in is actually quite a long ways from where I live, but I'll be back like usual. I mean, I get knocked down, I come back up. I'm like, you know, one of those little clowns yet as a kid that you punched and it flips over and then bounces back up. That's, that's just how I am. I'll be back on my feet soon. The surgery went well. The problem is now is that I had something called MRSA. So if anybody out there is in the health industry, you'll know what this is. It's a, a blood infection that I have now. And so they've got me on all kinds of crazy antibiotics. You guys can see all this stuff up here. Here's a, all that stuff going on. You guys can see it. You know, and here's my lovely IV and I'm trying to get this perfect on here, you guys. I'm not used to filming myself like this here. You guys can see it. Here's all my IV stuff and all that stuff. My lovely hospital bed. My chart over there that shows everything, my name, you know, there's the Elric chart, yada, yada, yada. But uh, I am here and I'm in the hospital. I'm trying to get better so I can get out of here. One thing about a hospital, man, is the food is nasty. And it's boring. There's boring, it's boring here. The TV here really sucks. I'm used to cable. You know what I mean? Aren't you? I mean, come on. Most of us watch cable these days. And I've got all kinds of cool reviews coming up. Um, especially in November. November, I got lots of killer stuff coming up. And even October, I've got some really cool products coming up. I'm going to be getting a lot more into audio than I've ever done before. Um, I know a lot of people appreciate those videos. So in the future, the channel is really probably going to be split up a lot with more musical stuff and tech. I'm really a lot more to be truthful with you guys into music than I am into tech these days. It's probably obvious. There's so many young guys out there that are doing tech these days that it's a super crowded market, but I'm a good musician and I've got partners like Jonathan Morrison to help me do stuff from TLD. So it's just better for me to do what I really love. So that's what my focus is going to be. But don't worry, just because I'm in the hospital doesn't mean my channel's going anywhere doesn't mean I'm disappearing. A lot of people start unsubbing the channel and doing all kinds of weird stuff when like I, I get sick and it just doesn't make any sense. Like to be honest with you, that's like literally a stab in the back from the people who follow the channel to unsub me just because I'm sick. I mean, I'm pushing 60 years old. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So, you know, I, I'm gonna start having some health issues and that's just how it is. And I've been diabetic for a while and I've almost beat the diabetes down though. From 10.7, down to 7.0 and then 6.8. So my AIC is now at 6.8. If I get it down to 6.0 and maintain it and do that, I won't be diabetic anymore. You guys can already see from the videos I've been making, I've lost a lot of weight. I've been on a really strict diet, I've been trying to take care of myself. The doctors don't even know where this foot infection came from this time. It just literally like came out of nowhere. One minute I'm healthy, I'm chilling at home, and then my foot started hurting. And honestly, my opinion is that they put the cast on too tight and my foot couldn't breathe because 
after the last cast I got two weeks ago, it was hurting like a mother fracker on my foot. It literally just felt like King Kong was grabbing a hold of my foot and squeezing it. It was like, ah. And then all of a sudden, guess what? Ba Boom! Infection. Sounds like a French word, doesn't it? Infection. I mean, if you didn't know better, it'd be like one of those fancy French foods with some, you know, some of that uh, good old uh, au jus sauce or something on it. I mean, I suppose they could cut my foot off and eat it. Barbecued Elric, think about it. Mmm. Little barbecue sauce. Some nice spices. Nom, 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 nom. I'm sure the cannibals out there would be like, hey, that sounds good. I'll eat your foot, man. Send it on over. Heck, I could probably put that sucker on eBay and it would sell. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. I'm in good spirits. I'm getting better. Like, you know, I'm in the hospital right now. That's just how it is. But I'll be out soon. I'll be back doing tech videos. I'm trying to get better all the time. One thing you guys also don't understand is the house that I live in in Hopkinsville, Kentucky is so small that it's really hard for me to do any good B-roll. I've literally got no word of film. I'm on top of myself. I could literally almost just film in my bed and I'd be better off. But I'm going to be moving to Evansville, Indiana. I'm going to be buying a nice big two-story house with a basement there, building a recording studio in the basement, building some nice film areas. I'm actually probably going to buy a house and dedicate and have a dedicated room built where I can actually film and have different areas for different types of stuff that it looks good. So if you guys don't give up on me, I won't give up on YouTube. And believe me, YouTube is not paying me. So if you guys think, oh, I'm getting rich from YouTube and all this stuff, I'm not. The only people that really help keep me around and paying my bills are the people with the Windows keys. I mean, that's just it. They pay me. I made $384 last month off of Google ads. So if you think I'm some rich YouTuber living the high life, I'm not. I'm going to be selling my house in Kentucky and then moving to Evansville, Indiana, investing and just staying there. I don't really see me going back to California due to everything that's going on. And they just had an oil spill in Huntington Beach. And that's like where I grew up with my friend Randy Green and all of us, we used to go surfing there like every week during all the summers through high schools. So four years of my life, pretty much, you know, tons and tons of times, we've been to that beach. Plus my whole life, I was going there surfing. But during the summertime was the best during high school because that was all me and my buddies and we were all homies. So it was awesome. You know what I mean? So please don't give up on the channel. Don't give up on me. I won't give up on you. We'll continue uh, making videos together, build the channel, do some different stuff. I mean, I'm always willing to listen to some, you know, ideas of what people have. Now, I'm not a great system builder by any means. I never have been. Anthony Reynolds in LA was always my system builder. Jesus was my camera guy. I'm usually the guy who just writes the script, comes on camera, does the talking, does the product stuff, and that's what I do. As far as the music stuff goes, I bring a lot more to the table with that. So it just behooves me to do more music stuff. So for you guys out there, you know, who are like down with the music stuff, please let me know. Let me know if you'd like to see some more musical stuff because I'd like to do some stuff. I know a lot of people see my amps in my other room at my house and they're like, why aren't you playing guitar? I'm going to be truth with you guys. In my bedroom, I feel like I can play like a mother fracker. But when I get in front of people on a camera and try to play my guitar... Honestly, I feel like a paraplegic. I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. Oh, I just can't do it. I can sing in front of camera, no problem. But trying to play my guitar in front of that camera, I get so nervous, it's hard. I've done it a few times, basic stuff, and I've gotten a lot better than I used to be, but I'm just, I'm never going to be a great guitar player. I write music, I can play the keyboard, I can play pretty much almost any instrument, drum, everything. I can play it all okay. You know what I mean? I can write a song. I can do that. But, you know, I have guys I work with and those guys that I work with have always helped make everything happen. I've never really been the lone ranger in any of this stuff at all. I've always had friends that have helped me and with great fans like you guys, many of you guys are really great loyal fans that I've had a long time. Some people come to my channel and they're like really nasty with me because I don't beat videos up and talk a bunch of stuff about products. And they say, oh, it just seems like an infomercial. Well, you know, a lot of companies like me just to take their product and bring the correct information to you guys about their product without sitting there kicking it in the balls. I mean, I'm not Steve Burke from Gamers Nexus. There's already a guy out there doing this. 
I mean, if I started doing that, I would honestly feel like I was just copying Steve because that's his style. His style is I don't give a damn, I don't give a shit, I'm gonna kick this company in the nuts as many times as I can, and that's how it is. But that's not me, it's never going to be me. If something is really wrong with a product and I don't like it, I'll say it. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to go like, oh, well, you know what? The, the stitch in the side of the headphone for me is not the right color and blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna go off on that. You know, if something's a good product that's worth your money, that's how I'm gonna bring it to the table. It's how I've been, it's how I plan on staying. I'm not the kind of person who just wants to totally try to tear a product apart and do it. This isn't like, you know, this isn't like one of those 80s like shows, you know, where like a person comes out and they're just trying to drag it all down. This isn't the, like the, you know, the, I don't know what to call it, the, the negative report. The negative report. And today's product sucks. It sucks for this reason. It sucks for that reason. It sucks. Ah. It really sucks. <laughs> Just not me. I like to try to focus on the positive things in life. There's too many negative things in life. I've been sick for many, many years, and I'm just trying to be happy, live my life. Like I said in my other videos, I'm completely clean. I'm totally off drugs these days. I'm on Cymbalta. The angry Elric that used to exist doesn't exist. So if you're going to leave some stupid, nasty comment down below and think you're going to get a response, <laughs> good luck because you're wasting your time because I plainly don't give a flying fuck. It doesn't matter. You can leave whatever comment you want, man. I don't care. You want to be negative? You want to be a dick? That's on you, man. Like, to me, going to somebody's channel and leaving negative comments, just to me, honestly, shows me that your life must be worse than my life. Because if you've got to come to my channel and throw all this negativity onto my channel trying to hurt my feelings or make yourself feel like the big man on campus, you must be having a shitty life. And so therefore, I'm not even going to waste my time replying to you with a negative reply. Like, I used to do stupid shit like that. I did. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I have paid for them as well. You know, just like anybody else. I'm a man. I make mistakes. I pay for those mistakes. But I have. I've learned. I've changed. And I'm a much better person these days. So I'll see you guys back here on the channel. I'll try to make another video while I'm here in the hospital. My mom's going to come up in two days. I'm going to ask her to bring me some headphones. I've got some nice headphones from Anchor. So I'm going to try to shoot the B-roll and do the entire video off of my iPhone. This is off my iPhone as well. If you guys are wondering if we went to the iPhone 11 Max, and that's the one I'm doing this on, maybe I can get a new iPhone 13 from Jonathan and make things even better. Hint, 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 hint. That's a hint, a hint. It's a freaking hint. Hint, 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 hint. But anyways, peace out. I love you guys. You are a great audience. I think you're the best audience that anybody could ever want. I'll be back. Don't fret. Don't unsub. Don't be a dick. Love thy neighbor. Love yourself. I'll see you guys soon back here on Tech of Tomorrow for guess what? More tech. Because that's what we do around here, baby. Peace out.